Hey keto peeps, if you're anything like me, you love crab cakes. And when you go out to dinner, you look at them wistfully on the menu, wishing you could have some, but knowing that they usually have hidden carbs. Well, today on All Day I Dream About Food, I'm gonna show you how to make your own easy keto crab cakes. So the first thing we're gonna do is take eight ounces of lump crab meat. You can use canned crab meat, but if it has a lot of liquid, make sure you drain it well. And I'm going to put it into a nice big bowl. And if it's quite lumpy, you want to take some time to break up some of the bigger lumps with your fingers. Conventional crab cakes usually take some sort of binder that makes them higher carb. It's often uh, breadcrumbs or cracker crumbs. Well, today we are actually going to use some cracker crumbs, but they are almond flour cracker crumbs from Real Fat. You can also use just regular almond flour or even crushed pork rinds. And you want a quarter cup of those. Then we're gonna add some chopped parsley and I'm adding in about two tablespoons and one green onion nicely sliced and some Old Bay seasoning. I have half a teaspoon here. Now, because my cracker crumbs uh, have some salt and flavorings in them, I'm not gonna add any additional salt. But if you're just using almond flour, you may wanna put in another half teaspoon or three quarters teaspoon salt. And we're gonna stir that all up to combine. Now to hold them together a little better, we're going to add one egg, one tablespoon of mayonnaise, and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. And then just stir everything together and mix it in until well combined and it really holds together. Now you're going to just divide your mixture into four even mounds. And I like to divide them up before I shape them so I can see if one is a little bit smaller than the others. Just even them out a little bit. Then you're gonna shape them into patties that are about uh, three quarters to an inch thick. And once you have four nice even patties, you wanna get them into the fridge for about 30 minutes to just help them firm up a little bit. Okay, and once your crab cakes have been sitting in the fridge for about 30 minutes, they're ready to go. Now, you can cook these a couple of different ways. You can do it in a skillet, and you want to set it over medium heat and melt some butter and fry them about three to four minutes per side. But today, we're going to use an air fryer. Now, my air fryer happens to be an instant pot with the air fryer lid. So the first thing you wanna do is brush your air fryer basket with a little oil so things don't stick. Then you're also going to brush your crab cakes on both sides with a little bit of melted butter. This will ensure that they get beautifully browned and golden in the air fryer. Now my air fryer is so small that it will only hold two of these at a time, but a lot of air fryers will hold all four. Just put that butter side down and put a second one in. I could maybe squeeze a third one in. Ooh, maybe I could squeeze all four. Oh, not quite gonna do it. Three is the upper limit for this one. You do wanna leave a little room for you to be able to flip them. And now we're ready to air fry them. So I'm putting my air fryer lid on my Instant Pot. And it doesn't matter what kind of air fryer you have, you're gonna put them in at 350 for 10 minutes. You want to flip them halfway through cooking, so at the five minute mark. Okay, all four are done. Now, freshly cooked crab cakes deserve something delicious to dollop on top. So we're gonna make a little bit of spicy mayo. I have a quarter cup of mayonnaise here, and I'm going to add a little sriracha, about a teaspoon. You can add a different hot sauce. Go light until you know how hot it's gonna be. We like things a little spicy in this house, especially my husband is a little spicy. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Now, Cajun seasoning tends to be very salty. So again, go light until you taste it and decide what you like. So I'm starting with a quarter teaspoon. I'll probably end up adding about half a teaspoon. And just stir those in together. Give it a little taste. I want more Cajun seasoning. I love this slap your mama Cajun seasoning. It's delicious. Don't slap your mama. It's not a very nice thing to do. Now we can take one of our freshly cooked crab cakes and dollop it with a little bit of our spicy mayo and we can dig in and we'll spread the mayo around and we'll take a bite. Is there such thing as a crab cake dance? Mm. 
The crab cake is perfectly seasoned as is. If you want and you don't wanna do the mayo, you can have it just as it is. It's delicious, maybe with a little squeeze of lemon. The texture is spot on, nicely holding together, but so tender and juicy. Mm. I love it. And this is gonna be my lunch. For this easy keto air fryer recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.